Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I'm going to talk to you today about FireWire. We've done discussions before on FireWire versus USB, but most people see FireWire as nothing more than just to transfer data back and forth, and certainly you can, you can use it uh, for that. But uh, as I'm going through my spiel, we've got a little bit of art going on here live on my desktop, and how that's happening is I'm letting the user known as TJ draw on my desktop using the GoToMeeting application, uh, which you can download a 45-day demo for uh, at gotomeeting.com forward slash Chris Perillo. Uh, very, very grateful that they're a sponsor of the show. And I figured, well, might as well let a good artist draw on my desktop while I'm talking about other stuff like FireWire. So have you ever noticed that, at least in Windows, the FireWire ports show up in your network folder? Why is that? Well, because you can connect... Uh, a FireWire cable and have it act as a, a network. I mean, that's kind of the way it's set up. It's not just for uh, data transfer or uh, simple devices like USB. You can actually use it to um, network machines together. And if you remember way back when, I mean, it, I'm sure some people still do it today, uh, you would have to, to connect two machines together to transfer data back and forth. The easiest way to do it was to connect a Cat5 cable to each one to their networking cards or network cards. And then as long as that cable was a crossover cable, then you could transfer data back and forth after futzing with networking settings. Well, it's a lot easier to do with a FireWire cable and specifically a lot easier to do with Mac OS X. This tip comes in from a remarkable Ryan, his name, not mine. Almost sounds like a garbage pail kid, doesn't it? Another cool trick that I've learned is an easy way to transfer files between Macs using FireWire. All you have to do is connect both computers using a FireWire 400 cable, and uh, I think it's 400, I imagine it would work with a FireWire 800 as well. The restart, one of the Macs. That's what you got to do first. As the restarted Mac begins to boot up, hold down the T button. A large FireWire symbol will appear on the screen and will show up as another Macintosh hard drive on the desktop that you didn't reboot. From here, you're, uh, you can copy or send files between both Macs. When you're done, simply eject the Macintosh hard drive volume of the machine that you rebooted with the T, and you're all done. Hope this helps some people in your community. Uh, I'd imagine it will. I am certainly going to take advantage of this. There's been uh, some times when I, I had to transfer between one Mac and another. I didn't realize that you could do that. Very cool. I've got a FireWire cable laying around, and I imagine most of you do as well. I don't think there's going to be an easier way for you to network two particular machines. I'm not exactly sure how well that would work with Windows, uh, considering I've always had issues with FireWire in Windows, uh, largely related to drivers. Um, just never really seemed to work right. That, and I don't think you can reboot a PC and hold on to any key to have it um, use the FireWire connectivity and mount itself as a hard drive connected to another PC. If only it were that simple. So this tip kind of goes out to everybody, but specifically for those uh, who use a Mac. Now, if you know of a simple way uh, or the way to do it within Windows, I am looking for that particular uh, suggestion to pass along. Or if you know of a, a much easier way of networking two computers together or using a cable connection, make the suggestion. Um, again, I remember the crossover well, weren't, they weren't nightmares once it was working, but just getting it set up was certainly not as elegant as that. So, wow, this guy's doing... I wonder... Oh, it's me. He says he's drawing me. He's saying you. This is me. So, uh, thank you, TJ. I, I appreciate the fine artistry there. It does look like me, um, you know, somewhat. If I was yellow, um, I'm more, well, fair-skinned. Uh, than, than yellow at this point. You gotta get, eyebrows have got to be thicker. You never know what we're going to be doing or what we're going to be talking about or how we're going to be helping you with hardware, software, the internet, showing off fun services, uh, functional services like GoToMeeting, because it's not just for drawing things on other people's desktops. It's actually there so we could share each other's desktops and uh, do presentations remotely. So if I wanted to share his desktop or anybody's desktop, I could do that using the GoToMeeting application. You save time and money and of course that 45 day 
trial. If you have any other tips or tricks for Macs or PCs, the internet in general, you can email me, chris at perilla.com. If it's really cool and really unique and written well, then I'd love to share it with the rest of the galaxy. Uh, again, my email is chris at perillo.com, and I know you guys are listening because I get emails every day saying, Chris, I found you on YouTube. Very cool. Glad to have you uh, watching these videos on a regular basis. If you want to participate in, in the videos or in the chat rooms, uh, you can. Uh, we've got a chat room that's always open, uh, seemingly. Uh, you know, I, 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 But I always forget where it's at. <sighs> Where's our chat room happening? 24 hours a day. It's like... Uh, you can find us typically talking tech or chatting about pretty much anything. Even if Chris isn't here, some of the rest of us will be. Come on by anytime, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. We're at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.